To the two honks podcast where you never lick a gift horse in the honk my name is joe little sitting here to my uh right this uh uh early evening would you call it pretty early uh sitting here to my right is uh lamar costin uh no more lording this week i'm not lording and the only reason for that is because now we have video and uh, we have a new studio if this works and we have video you will be seeing and hearing us at the same time potentially yeah we'll see i mean i would hope so there's I, a lot yeah there's a lot going on here we've got the microphone situation is not ideal yeah i'm gonna get that out of the way right now but yeah i mean it's like i want to look at you yeah and i want to look at the camera We're, it's a little cr- crisscrossed yeah, right. It's a little crisscross, but then I can't move my microphone too much because look, look, look at this. Yeah, because now look you're, what happens. you're waggling mine as well. I'm waggling. But the great I'm thing waggling. about this setup is that we can actually use our hands now. Yeah. To say the things we want to say. We can express the things that the things that we say when we say what we said. Want you to hear. You can hear it because we say it and we can move our hands in a way yeah. that you will be able to digest and then... Throw up or poop out if you wish. It's important. If you want to, you can poop it. I would. I usually poop it. It's important, personally. Personally. So. So yeah. What's going on? It's been two weeks. It has been a couple of weeks. So it feels like forever. I've mainly just been moving into this house. <coughs> yeah. And let me tell you, moving is a nightmare. Can anybody make moving easier? Can we make moving a lot easier now? Because it's. Like, like what it we're tired of it i mean everybody's fighting for like rent control and everybody's fighting for everybody's talking about prices going up and yeah about, prices whatever. going up what about a publicly funded uh moving program they come and grab your stuff and yeah move it for you, you don't have to pay anything for it you've already paid for it with your taxes yeah there's no bill they just help you move i think it's a good that's a good point yeah how many times do you think you've moved or helped somebody else move in your life? A lot of times. Yeah. A lot of times. I think for me, probably like 40, 50, maybe 50, 60 times. Yeah. Probably more than that, honestly. Yeah, exactly. And just to explain the background noise real quick for the listener, I think our, our, our neighbor's doing some construction over there. They're building a set of stairs. They're building a staircase. Building, so yeah. you're going to have to deal with that. Um and I'm not sorry about it. So yeah, there's that That's as like well. Your problem. I much. don't. Yeah, I mean, if you have a problem with it, then I why why are you listening to our podcast? Yeah. What would be the point if if you don't you, want? Yeah, if you don't want things, people building things, then you you, you know that unforeseen things are going to happen here. That's what we're known for. That's what. Yeah, that is. If people watch because things might happen. That's how we operate. Yeah. I mean, if unforese- unforeseen things didn't happen, we wouldn't even, we wouldn't have a podcast. Yeah. That's. It's SOP. That's the way it works. SOPs. SOP. SOP. SOB. Yeah. But like, we've been gone for a couple of weeks. How have you been? How have I've you been, been okay. I've been a little bored because, uh, you know, I haven't had this podcast to, uh, to do. So that's like most of my time, my free time. I usually just do pod stuff. Yeah. Thinking about it, writing stuff journaling yeah um yeah without that i've just been hanging out with sheila and just been watching a lot of uh old saturday night live episodes you know i've been so watching some productive. old i've been watching some old snl too i'm gonna say i think they were better back then yeah because the they actually had to write things that were solid there yeah there wasn't as many like camera changes there was like a lot of long shots like yeah like hitchcock it's basically like hitchcock Old SNL. Yeah, you're bringing us back to the Hitchcock days. Um, yeah. I was listening, I was watching uh, some early 
uh, 2000s SNL. Okay. And there was an episode that really cracked me up, and it was um, <clears throat> the one with um, the one with Lance Armstrong. Lance oh, really? Armstrong was hosting. I don't think I've seen that. And Cheryl Crow was like the the music the yeah. music person. Okay. And um, they were they were dating at the time, and they were like engaged to be really? married. And it was really hilarious because Lance Armstrong was like, "Hey, yeah, we're gonna get married," blah, da, 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 da. like in his like monologue. Right. And I'm just like, wow, what a fall from glory that was. That's that's some crazy shit right there. Yeah. But here's the thing. It seemed like that long ago to me. Yeah, but the thing, like they put all those episodes on that uh, that Peacock app, right? Right. And like most of the, the, the episodes pretty much for the most part are pretty cut down. Yeah, they you suck. Know? They're awful. They're not like they, but most of them are like thirty to forty-five minutes. That episode, yeah, the one where Lance Armstrong hosted, it was only seventeen minutes long. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't even twenty minutes. Long. Like how much shit? Did, yeah, did they say on there that they needed to edit out? They're like, let's just cut most of the show. Yeah, they there just was, cut most of it out. It was, was insane. Yeah, there me. was some show I was reading about that uh, that was cut down to like six minutes. Yeah, and it's like. What are what are we paying you for here? Yeah, Peacock? exactly. What do you? Well, <laughs> well, I mean, when it comes when it comes to next year and all my bike races are gone from there, I'm not paying for it anymore. Yeah, they're not getting my money anymore. Well, here's a pro tip for anybody who's listening who wants free stuff. Okay, you can get on archive.org and you can find all of the old SNL episodes in their entirety, and including they have musical the, guests and the everything. music and everything. Yeah, yeah. So it's free and it's like an dot org. So that means it's like good for you. So archive dot org. So um, like health healthy for you. Can you cast Organic, right? this to a larger screen or? Yeah, I put it on my projector. Yeah, yeah. It's easy. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. No thanks, Peacock. More like no. P don't. Yeah. More like P shut up. More like yeah. You know. P get the f- get the fuck it's off like my P and give me my money back. P. His P, give me my money back. Yeah. P, thanks for nothing. <laughs> Peacock. Whatever, dude. Idiots. Idiots. Well, <clears throat> one of those clowns at NBC thinking. Yeah, whatever. I think. Bunch of clowns. I think they're just money grubbing uh, liberal uh, cocks. Yeah. Bunch peacocks. Of, bunch of money grubbing li- libtards over there. Yep. Libtard peacocks. Pretty much trying to steal my just my around. money every month, just peacocking around, peacocking around, touching each other's genitals. That's what they do. Hate the weekends, man. I hate them. That's what they do. Hate them. Um, I I was thinking about this is a change of subject, but I was thinking about um, you know people smoke weed nowadays. Yeah, right. That's like cool. Mm-hmm. It was always cool to do, but now it's like. But now it's like it's legal. Now it's like I mean everybody's it's, doing it's it. Still cool though, right? It's, it's just still not pretty like, cool. Because it's not illegal. It's not like, yo, man, I, I smoked weed last night. People are like, what? Yeah. Where'd you get it? Can I have some? Yeah. Now it's like, it's like, yeah, I smoked weed. I probably smoked too much. <laughs> like, you know, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I gotta, I'm running out of money because I smoked so much weed. <laughs> now it's like that. It's like, yeah, yeah, now you have a problem. So, yeah. But I was thinking about it because people smoke weed in my neighborhood a lot. And sometimes I hear people like coughing a lot. Yeah, smoke, and that's like a, I started thinking about that. Like, why, why, why do some people cough so much when they smoke weed? Isn't that? I mean, don't you? I mean, if you're if you're gonna push yourself to the point that you cough, like, right? Isn't that gonna like hurt your esophagus or your lungs or esophageal lining? Yeah. Well, my well, the old adage I always heard was that you get more high when you cough. Oh, okay. Which I think is because you're losing oxygen. I don't think it's that you feel more high. I think it's that you feel that you. I think it's that you put yourself a little bit closer to death closer every to God. time yeah. you cough like that. Closer to Jesus. Well, I mean, death, God, whatever, the, whatever you want to call it, whatever floats your boat, man. Well, you're fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're fine. I, I just think it's. I mean, I definitely have coughed when I smoke weed in the past. But that was like doing like bong loads, you know what I mean? Yeah, like four foot bong. I mean, maybe maybe it's just an old guy thing. I mean, you think so? We're both in our thirties at this point. You're about to be in your forties. It's true. So maybe we're just too old to be doing that shit. I don't know. I didn't even think about that. Maybe it's maybe the younger cats are just like yeah. champing it. 
Well, I ghost so, hits every time. Here's something interesting. It's like I never really coughed that much when I smoked weed, like back in the day. Really, you know. And i I lived in um, I lived in a punk house in Reno, Nevada. Right. And for like the first couple of months, I was at this punk house. It was just like me and my and my one buddy, and it, it, you know, we weren't we didn't push each other too much with the weed smoke, and we were pretty light about it. Yeah. But um, then we had like three or four guys move in that were all in a uh, a metal band together. Okay. And, um, and those guys, they smoked weed like they were in a fraternity. Like it was like a, a thing. Like it was a, it was a fucking competition every time. Really? Like how much smoke can you put in your lungs? Yeah. And you know, I, you know me, I can't, I can't back down from competition, you know? Yeah. That's when we started ripping like four foot bongs. I can see you, I can see you doing that. Yeah. But, like, the thing was, I, I feel like we weren't getting so high. We weren't getting high off of the weed. We were getting high off of the fact that we were depraving ourselves of oxygen for extended periods of time. Right. You know, because your vision would go blurry and your eyes would go, whoa, 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 whoa. And exactly the same thing is going to happen if you just hold your breath for longer than you think you're able to. Right. You know? So that's not really that cool then, is it? Yeah, I don't think coughing makes you more high, is my point. Well, one thing I do know about it is that it's really, really annoying. Yeah. Like, even if somebody has the, the cold or something, it's like, yeah, you feel bad for him, but it's also yeah. like, shut up. I know you have the cold, but can you shut the fuck you up for a few minutes? Up? Like, yeah. stop it. I'm sorry you're sick. And, like, everybody has a certain kind of cough, and it's always, like, the same pitch. It's like, <laughs> it's yeah. like, okay, and now you're smoking weed, and you're causing that yeah, or it's you're, like you're subjecting when, everybody to this now. Exactly, or like when somebody's really sick and they just can't stop coughing and they keep on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, like shut the like, fuck shut up. up already. Shut up. We heard you the first time. I don't want to hear you cough anymore. Yeah. Fuck off. It's like we got the message the first time. Jesus you're sick. Christ, I get it. You I got, get it. You have bronchitis. I get it. We get it. Drink some water and shut up, or just do it. Do it over. Yeah. Do it over there. Do it somewhere else. Go over yonder. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do it. I, was, I don't want to see it. I, I was thinking it. about that because um, when I think about people smoking weed and coughing, I think about uh, what the festival 2016, which yeah. was the year after you were there. Yeah, yeah. I was not I was not at 2016. I was there with Anna, who was in from out of town, and we were sharing a tent. And uh, our friend Jamie was there with his, his crew, and they were like serious dab heads. Yeah. So they, like, all brought their own rigs. Like, everybody had their own rigs, so they had, like, 10 or 15, like, different oil rigs. How are, how are these people bringing these giant glass dab rigs to a music festival? Well, and I mean, the, some of them are, like, museum pieces, too. Like, you have, like, they're different sizes, you know? Yeah, but yeah. They had, like, they had built, like, a table of dabs set mm-hmm. up in our campsite. And I'm camped right, you know, right next to this. So pretty much, like, the whole time, I was only in a tent for, like, you know, a few hours at the whole festival. But during those few hours with Anna, all I heard was uh, like a, just a cacophony of coughs. A, a cough cacophony? A cacophony. A cacophony. A, co- a cough cacoph, a cough cacophony. A cacophony. A cough a cough a cacophony. It was a costing. It, it was um, a, an accosting I was cough a cacophony. And it costed a lot in terms of uh, fun for so me. So it cost a lot of fun and the cost of the cost and the cough cacophony. Yeah. Wow. But it was like, uh, you know, people who, you guys know what a dab cough sounds like. I mean, that's a deep cough. You just yeah. put oil, you just coated your lungs in oil. Yeah, man. I mean, and, you and have, that's what that sounds like. You just, <laughs> you just pump your lungs full of like butane. You don't know how they're making those dabs. You don't know. You don't know how they're making those You don't want to know, probably. Yeah, you probably don't want to know. But that's what I think of. I think of that scene, which was, it seemed kind of absurd to me to be, at that point, it's like they're not even really getting high because they're they're just like, it's like smoking a cigarette for them, I think. It was like, to get a fix. Yeah. And maybe for the social part, but it was like, do you realize it's kind of not fun to like be around a lot of coughing, like constant coughing for like 72 hours? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so that's what I, and I don't smoke weed anymore, really. It's like, so hey, maybe, can you, maybe that's why. I can you know. guys just like get drunk like the rest of us? Can you I mean, just, yeah. <clears throat> Can you just take like Come a on, bunch seriously. of acid like everybody else here? 
And go seriously, hide in your tent because you're freaking out. Can like, you just that's like what's cool to do? Can you just like go snort a bunch of cocaine like the normal people at the festival, please? You, you don't cough when you do cocaine. You you don't cough. That's that's a thing. That's number one. I, I mean, sh- you don't even sneeze unless you do it wrong. If you if you inhale it in the wrong pipe, maybe yeah. you do. I mean, a lot of times people sneeze at you. It's a bad thing. But if uh, yeah. if they do and they're doing cocaine, it means it's. Probably some pretty good cocaine. It means they're having a good time. It means they're having a really good time. But with the coughing? Yeah. Shut up. I mean, yeah, it's like, if you're sick, I feel sorry for you, but please shut up. And if it's like, you're not sick, but you're coughing, it's like, now you're, yeah. you're a social. Now you're, you're just trying to piss me off, is what you're trying to do. Yeah. You're a social nuisance, I think yeah. is the term. Don't give me your cough cacophony. I don't want to deal with your shit. We don't need a cophony. Okay. We don't need a, we don't need a... We don't need a we don't need a cough <sighs> symphony, okay? I didn't come to this festival to be serenaded by coughs. I didn't, I didn't hear. Um, I didn't come here to ke- hear your cough symphony on your cough timpani, right? In your cough cacophony. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Um, so now you know how. So we feel just about don't that. cough. Just no. stop it. Yeah, just shut up. Everybody, stop it. Shut um, the fuck up. Just stop. Just shut yeah, it. Yeah, shut it down. Yeah. Um, I wanted to, I forgot to bring this up because in our two weeks now, I was thinking about podcasting in general and like this idea of like the term podcast. Like, yeah. Like, oh, I have to get back to my podcast. It's been a week since I've done a podcast. And then I was like, what is a pod? What does that mean? Because we're not in a pod. We're not in a pod. Unless you call every room that you've ever been in a pod. I mean, I guess technically we're enclosed in something. Yeah. Always, probably. I mean, the atmosphere would be could be a pod. But I, 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 see, I personally have vision, envisioned a pod always more as like a, a bean shaped kind of thing. Yeah, like a capsule or like yeah, a, like a capsule, like a space pod. Yeah, a space pod. Well, and I think maybe what, what was intended, or maybe when the term came up, was like iPods. Like yeah, Apple. But that's like was like a million years. But ago. like, a podcast hap- Podcasts were a thing before. Was that right? iPods were a thing, weren't they? Are they? Were they? Because I feel like podcasts were just like originally like a couple of people talking was that or what? like somebody in inter- or like a few people in inter- whatever just it had to be something that wasn't on the the radio. But I think that was like I think the term came out after iPods. I could be wrong. Really? Pretty sure. I think that's where it came from. So if you I'm making know, totally making that up, but if you know where the term podcasting came from, go ahead and shoot us a message. Two yeah. punks podcast at gmail.com. We can't be bothered to we're, Google that. We're not right going to look it up. We are not going to look it up with the technology we have here because yeah. that's here for other We don't want to use this technology yeah. or this technology. We're not going to do it. We're not going to use this technology to look it up right now. Okay. I think it's from iPod and I think it's absurd because that's like, I was like hundred, hundred thousand years ago that people had iPods. And I think it's before iPod that it happened and yeah. people came up with the term because it was just like an audio thing that happened that wasn't on the radio. So because we're in know, pod and closed in a pod, go ahead and shoot us a message to honks podcast at gmail.com. Okay. The other thing is the the cast part of it. Okay, uh, we're not like broadcasting. We're not broadcasting. This is not live. Yeah. Um, and second of all, if you want to listen to it, you have to download the file. Yeah. From wherever you're listening, so that's not broadcasting. I mean, you could stream it. Maybe we're streamcasting. Well, we're not streaming, are we? We're not streaming. I'm, I'm not, not live streaming. I'm not. Live. Are you streaming? Are you live? I'm streaming. I'm not live. I'm not streaming. I don't think we're. Streaming. I didn't think I was streaming. <laughs> Unless there's something you didn't tell me. <laughs> we said no streaming. We said no streaming. We're that's the first rule of the Two Hunks podcast. Rule number one. That's yeah. the first day that we sat down. No streaming. No streaming. No streaming. And there won't be any coughing. I think there that won't be, be any coughing. That's going to be a new rule after, after you, that. Yeah. Can, I mean, if other, can, if other people can stop coughing too. Can you please just leave the room? If like you're if you're sitting it? at home and you're listening to this podcast, you probably don't cough very much because you like us. Yeah. You know? Probably a good person too. Yeah. And if you are going to cough a lot, you don't do it in front of my fucking face. Okay. How rude. How rude. You know? Don't be rude. So I saw today 
um, there was a post, there was posted a uh, thing about global warming. They said, uh, I guess editors of 220 leading medical um, and public health journals from around the world called for urgent action on climate change, which is kind of a big deal because it's like coming at it from a, a public health aspect. Like, oh, wow. Like not only are, is the world going to end, yeah, but as it's, as it's ending, we're all going to be like having all these issues with breathing and like other other things because of all the smoke and like yeah other stuff so it's like it's like whoa yeah know? that's heavy that makes like that actually makes a lot of sense yeah it's like wow you know what i mean yeah oh my goodness yeah wow. well anyway i was scratching my ass the other day uh-huh. and um i noticed that uh i am a sweaty guy are you i am a really sweaty person I don't think I've ever noticed that about you. So, like, global warming isn't going to work in my favor because I sweat a lot. Okay, so that's going to be a personal problem. For that's going to be a very personal problem. Are you a sweaty guy? I'm not really a sweaty guy. Like, when you hit the gym, you just do I you do, sweat Actually, a lot? I do sweat at the gym, and that's one thing that I don't like about the gym. Yeah. Because I don't like to sweat. No, I literally will just start doing something around my house. Like, something that requires a lot of... Back and forth. You're getting some cardio going. A lot of kind of movement. Yeah. Like I'm starting to You're sweat. You're kind of doing one of these. I'm starting to sweat by doing this right. right now. I'm just, I'm a sweaty guy. I'm a sweater. You're a sweater. I'm a sweater. I'm not a guy. I'm a sweater. You are a sweater. Okay. Yeah, I never noticed that. And I don't understand why I'm like that and why other people are not like that. I think it's healthy. You think it's a health? Is, is it a sign of good health that I sweat a lot? I think it's healthy because... Um, one thing that happens when you sweat is you move the lymphatic fluids okay. through the tissues and they push them out through the pores. Okay. And so that's actually a good thing. So the lymphatic fluids? Right. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that that would get me by, honestly. I did. <laughs> I was I was gonna say they like they grease up the joints. You didn't expect like, uh, your co-host to call you on your shit. I think it like greases the <laughs> greases the wheels a little bit. It greases the wheels. It greases the gears. I'm greasing the gears. Okay, okay, that must be why I'm such a fluid person. Yeah, that's why I'm so like quickly adaptable to most situations. Because you're a sweaty guy. I'm a sweaty guy. I'm a sweater. Yeah, I am a sweater. You're a fluid sweater. Put me on. I'm a sweater. Try me on. I'm fluid. Try me. <laughs> <laughs> it really greases my gears. Drink me up. I'm fluid. Let's. Yeah, I'll try that one out. Sometime. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I mean, I would try that out as a pickup line, but then they'd find out I'm not really a sweater, and it'd be like huge letdown. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, let me bring this up because we were talking a little. We haven't talked about John Popper in, in several podcasts now. Yes. John Popper invented the Popper Pack, which was originally used to hold his harmonicas. Yeah. Which then was uh, acclimated into the athletic world to hold gel packs. Exactly. For fuel. Exactly. So you got your Popper Packs. You see people running with them now. Um, you said people ride bikes with them too. They got little Popper Pack gels. Yeah. Backpack full of Popper Packs. Well, I mean, they, I mean, when you're, right, when you're talking about riding bikes, you got jerseys with Popper Packs built in right to the back. Yeah, they make clothing now that they make clothing is that essentially a popper pack. It's a Hold popper it. pack, and it's right there. Yeah, yeah. So John Popper, as far as I know, has received no credit for any of this. Yeah, like that's like it seems like some kind of copyright infringement on his side. Yeah. Um, but we were talking about John Popper because I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. Right. When we were we were moving and we Everybody's were talking, talking about, about John Popper. Everybody's talking about John Popper. Yeah, he's like the greatest living harmonica player in the world. Yeah. Right. Um, and we were talking about another amazing musician, Dave Matthews. Dave Matthews. Um, yeah. And man, he brings the honeys out, doesn't he? He brings when, the honeys out. When he plays a concert, he brings out the honeys. Well, and here's the crazy thing that's happened, too, is like, I mean, many moons ago, it was, it, they were bringing out the younger ladies, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and and when they were bringing Fuka out the shell necklaces, yeah. the, the cargo shorts, for sure. Yeah, exactly. They were bringing out the younger ladies. Yeah. And at the same time, they were also bringing out the uh, the frat boys. Oh, yeah. You know? The backwards hat, the, the cargo shorts. Yeah. I mean, kind of like 
the what, visor. Kind of like what I look like right now. Yeah, exactly. Because, uh, you know. You're kind of living that frat life. Huh? I'm kind of living the frat life. You kind of are. You know, yeah. I mean, There's wife and I kid, but I still. Still party. I still party. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Of course I party. Obviously. But anyway, I. So it, it, at the at the roots, they started with the younger people, right? Yeah. But then those younger ladies, they they got older, and they started to have kids. Right. They started to have families, and some of them started to get divorced. Uh huh. But the th- the interesting thing that happened was those ladies got older, and those guys, they just kept on staying the same age. Right. That it was still the twenty something year old. Something about the music just speaks to the young heart, doesn't it? Yeah, it it speaks to the young male heart. The the frat heart. But now it doesn't speak to the young female heart anymore. Right, right. Those women have all turned into mothers. It's interesting that it speaks to a young frat heart. Yeah. And also a sophisticated, uh, experienced, maybe divorced female. Well, and, and now you have a very interesting mix of people at these concerts. Right. You have hot moms, babes, hot babes, hot, hot babe moms, babe moms, and younger dudes and frat dudes. And here's my theory. Yeah. Here's my theory. This is where an entire genre of porn was invented. You think that MILF porn came from uh, maybe a, a double headliner, John Popper, Dave Matthews. Yeah. John Popper. Blues Traveler. Blues Blues Traveler. And and Dave Matthews Band. Had a child and that was MILF porn. And that was MILF porn. Because some guy, I don't know who who it was. I don't know who. I think some dude was just sitting there like. The cinematographer was. I think he looked around the crowd and was like, wait a minute. He was like, hold it. Hold it. Yep, we can make this work. Yes, yep. yes, yep. yes. This is going to happen. I, I would not I never have thought of that. I just, I, I don't think they invented it, it but yeah, they, they definitely spawned it. It's kind of one of those things where maybe it was concurrently ha- just happening. Yeah, it was like an emergent thing, and it just so happened that the bed of that emergence was mm. this Dave Matthews. Mm. Yep, Blues Traveler concert yep. where you know it's getting sweaty, okay? Yeah, you know it's getting hot in there. It's getting hot in there, okay? It's getting hot in there. Eventually, somebody's going to, you know, become, like, aroused oh, in yeah. that room. Somebody's well, going to... Those sweet lyrics. The sweet, I mean, the sensual lyrics of Dave Matthews? Are you kidding me? They touch the heart in a way that's... Are you, are you expecting people to not have thoughts of that nature? Right. When their music is happening? Yeah, don't we get no. aroused at this concert? Yeah. <laughs> Listen to the sensual music and don't get <laughs> when that aroused. When that violin hits, when that lead violin comes in. Yeah. And it's like What's that? You want to watch that drummer rip it? Yeah. And you want to watch that drummer rip it and not get turned on? Tell Come me you're on. You're not going to feel that in your tell groin me, area. Tell me you're not feeling something. Come on. In the nether region? Come on, we're all human. I think we we can be adults here and just acknowledge. I think I yeah. What's I happening. think. I mean, it, it, I, <laughs> it, having uh, having thoughts like that, it's just as natural as like going to the bathroom. Come on, let's just it's let's just human, put it out there. It's a human. It's a human thing. Human thing. It's a human I mean, function. Not just humans, but yeah. uh, other animals. Yeah, but it's All a human animals. thing. It's an existence thing. If it's, you're if you are alive, yeah. You love Dave Matthews and Blues Travels, and you probably are gonna yeah. Uh, you get aroused. I you're mean, I'm probably gonna get turned on by you're things too. Get turned on. So if, if you're a, if you have a heart beating, yeah. If you don't have a heartbeat, then you probably don't get aroused. So yeah, I mean that's like your problem though. So yeah, that's not our problem. That's not my. That's certainly that's not, not my problem. problem. Yeah, yeah. So so there. Just remember that. Yeah, it's another theory. I like that one. I think that one actually checks out. Um, I think it's we'll based to, in fact. Yeah, I think it's definitely based in fact. I'll have to do some some field research. It's on very it, factual. I would love to go see a show where both of those bands are playing because I've I've actually never had a chance to see either one and just go and like observe. Yeah, and inter- interview people. You know, just yeah. to kind of feel the put the vibe out, feel the vibes. Like walk around with a microphone and say, "Hey, on a scale from one to ten, how aroused are you right now?" Right. 
maybe we should get a lady to ask these questions because if we're walking around yeah. like that, I don't think eh, it might not go that well. I don't yeah. think dudes or ladies are going to be into us. Somebody asking might get them that question yeah. unless they know us, unless they know who we are, then they might answer honestly. Right. But you gotta, you gotta have a control here. You know, you gotta, I think dressing up like kind of a don't, I would say don't try to fit in. Don't try to like fool them. Because mm-hmm. you cannot fool a popper fan. Yeah. Uh, dress up like a nerd, you know? Yeah. Dress up like like you're a research scientist and you're just there yeah, to these observe are, human behavior. Be there with like a camera crew, maybe. Yeah. And a clipboard or maybe something. Maybe we'll dress up like that. Hold it. Have a camera crew. Somebody with like a boom mic and somebody with a camera like following you around, you know? Yeah. Like I'm thinking like, a, um, what's, his, what's the Hamilton guy's name from the Pharmacopoeia? Something Hamilton. Hamilton? Yeah. Pharmacopia. Hamilton's Pharmacopia. I don't know. I can't remember his first name right now, but he's kind of already got the look. Maybe we'll just have him do it. Yeah, maybe. He's got the he's a he's a science minded person. Yeah. I mean I don't know who he is, but let's it give doesn't him a matter. Call. Let's yeah. give him a call. Yeah. He doesn't he'll know probably, who you are, probably. He'll probably pick up for me. Oh, for you he will, yeah. I'm a I'm an important guy. So Yeah. Can we talk about that? Right now? Can or, we talk about how important I am? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty important, so. Okay. Um, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I've been uh, I've been trying really hard to be spiritual lately. Okay. You know? Do you ever do that? I've been going for that a bit myself lately. Yeah. Do you ever just, like, throughout the day, just be like, I'm gonna, I need to be more spiritual? Like, you, I'm just not, you haven't been spiritual enough, and you're just like, I'm going to be spiritual now. Yeah. You know? I, yeah, sometimes I just stop everything that I'm doing, and I become more spiritual. Yeah. Like, right there in that moment. Right. You know? Like, I'll be at work, and I'll be, I'll have that thought, and I'm just like, I'm not being spiritual enough right now. Yeah. You know? I'm just, like, doing my job. And so I'll just leave. I'll walk outside and I'll just go sit down in full lotus position and meditate for like an hour and a half. And be spiritual. Yeah. And that helps me feel so more spiritual. Is that is that the only way to be spiritual? Is to sit in lotus and like... To do nothing? Yeah. I find that I, I feel the most spiritual when I'm... Yeah. When I'm not... Uh, when I have my eyes closed and I'm pretending like I'm not here. So let's say I wanted to continue what I'm doing right now. And which is, you know, just talking to you. Right. And I felt like I needed to be more spiritual. What What is something that I would be able to do that would allow me to continue what I'm already doing, but would also make me more spiritual? Have you considered a puka shell necklace? I went to CVS and bought one of those the other okay. day. Okay, CVS I, is a great yes. spot to pick them up. Yeah, great spot. Um, yeah, that would be a good start. Okay. Other, I mean, short of not talking to me and just stopping the podcast and meditating. Yeah. Um, I would say grow your hair out. Um, okay. Get, well, I'm, I'm working on that. Get some, I mean, yeah, I, you're already getting there. I mean, I, I'm keeping the top short, but you of know, course. Uh, get, get some, uh, get some, some sandals. Okay. Uh, some Burks. Yeah, I definitely, well, I, I have Burks, but they're kind of busted. So busted maybe I need Burks to get are some, even more spiritual in a way. Some more Burks. Oh gosh. Stock yeah. up on Burks. Um, you grow your hair out, and I would, yeah, the, you got the puka shell necklace. I, I can't think of a lot more. Maybe yeah. get some, like, crystals and stuff, too. I think I heard, I read in an article one time, it was on Outside Magazine, about uh, how aviators make you more spiritual. If you wear aviator sunglasses, really? you're a more spiritual person. Hmm. People who wear aviators are, like, spiritual. Spiritual aviators. I don't, I haven't heard that. Oh, yeah? I don't have any aviators, so maybe well, that's my issue. I, I mean, and so where do aviators come from? Let's let, let's talk about this for a second. It, just so I can explain right. to you how aviators are a spiritual thing. Aviators come from pilots. Right, from fly, flight people, flight attendants. F- flight folks. Folks who fly. People who attend to flight. Yeah. F- pilots. What is more spiritual than being in the air than being bird like yeah i mean you're flying right i mean you're flying you're ripping you're in the air there's you're, not yeah you're flying high there, you're not it's not 
like I'm flying high. Like, yeah, you just took a bunch of meth. Yeah, exactly. No, it's like you're literally flying high. No, I'm high. I'm flying high. I'm in the sky. So, I mean, the design of the aviators is inspired by flight. Is it because of the uh, aerodynamics of the glasses? You know, I don't know why they're designed the way that they are. And I also don't know why they're called aviators. But my but theory, that's what pilots wear. Yeah, my theory is that it, that's what pilots wear. Uh huh. It's designed for the people that do fly, and flying is okay. a very spiritual thing. So if you're not going to fly and you're not going to be in the air, you can at least wear those aviators. Uh, okay. And you can be closer to uh, God. your yeah God or spirituality or whatever yeah. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Really. Huh. Well, how about we should get some aviators and wear them on the show? Yeah. I feel like these these blue blockers are kind of are they kind of Yeah, like, here let's let's see these. Let's try them out. Try them out. See if you spirit Let's give it a moment of silence. See if you feel more spiritual. I do. Okay. Good. Yeah, I good. Really, I really good. do. Good. That's awesome. I feel better than you. Right now, yeah, no, actually. and you should feel better than me yeah. because you're wearing your aviators. Are they aviators? Maybe next week I'll uh, I'll wear my aviators. Well, they're aviator design. That's the style. That's all you need, man. I thought the aviators had to have like the wire frame. Is that like a myth? I think that's a myth. I think the aviator is the. Uh, it's in the shape. Okay. Yeah. It's. I think of it as a porno shape. Is it a porno shape? Is it a porn shape? Well, porn is very spiritual as well. That's true. You want to talk about spirituality? Okay, so let's talk now about we're, pornography. We're coming back all the way around again. Yeah, exactly. So you could just get away with wearing aviators. You could get away with what? <laughs> <laughs> you could get away with wearing aviators and watching pornography. Right. And you would be a very spiritual person. If that was what you did, that's the that's the only way you can watch pornography and be and be spiritual, a spiritual person. So if you're watching pornography and you're not wearing uh, av- aviators, you are a heathen. You're a creep. You are a creep. You're some kind of a sicko. You're a sicko in the eyes of God. Yeah, but if you're if you're wearing aviators and you're watching pornography, that's cool. Yeah, that's a okay with that's, the with the big man. Yeah, I mean that's that means you're spiritual. You are a spiritual person. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Yeah, I'm glad we discussed that. We figured it all out. Yeah, I think we did. But anyway, was there anything else we needed to discuss this week, Lamar? Um, I had just a couple small things here. Okay. Um, let's bring him up. Let's bring him up in the twilight of our episode yeah. here. Um, let me see if I had anything for you. So here's, a, I don't, this is a small, I don't, I've been moving. Oh, right. Yeah. I don't have anything. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm moving I'm busy. Yeah. Um, I've noticed more recently cause I, I have my windows down. I'm, I'm kind of an econo guy. I like, I like the wind flowing, th- uh, through my car. When you're, I drive. you're a fresh air kind of guy. I'm a fresh air kind of guy. You okay. know what I mean? Um, and one thing I've started to notice for some reason, just like in the last couple of weeks, when I, when I'm driving like into and out of my neighborhood, cause it's very, we're pretty urban. I'm, I'm, I'm in the hip section of town. Yeah. You're urban as fuck. I'm pretty hip. Yeah. Um, but the blocks are shorter. So there's more lights, more stopping and starting. I've been noticing cause everybody around me has the hybrid cars now. Yeah. Everybody's got them. Um, Except for me. Yeah, our, our, my neighbor across the street has the hybrid. It's uh, Everybody's it's, doing it. It's got an interesting sound to it. Yeah. Oh, this is one thing I, I didn't know that they did. And it's like kind of driving me a little bit crazy. And if I had one of those cars, I would be, I would have to keep my windows rolled up. Yeah. But when they like, when they stop and then they start again, I can hear this from like two cars away. Yeah. They, it sounds like, it sounds like somebody's driving like an old beat up truck. Mm-hmm. And it cuts out, and like the they let up on the clutch or something, and yeah. it's like it turns over again. Yeah, the ignition goes on. Yeah, and it does that. It's like, and then it goes in. Yeah, but it's like every single time they stop, it does this. Yeah, that would drive me insane if that was my car. Yeah, it's like starting a hundred times, a million times a day. Yeah, 
Um, but even from what my position, I'm just like, this is like, that's why they have to have their windows up because maybe they can't hear it that way. Yeah. Right? Well, did you know they did that? I thought that when they were in battery mode that, that they didn't need to like use fuel. Isn't that like a climate thing? I think it comes back to climate again. Yeah. Pretty sure. I think it's a climate thing. Yeah. Because like if your car starts like a lot of times, then like. Right. Then like you do you don't, you wouldn't. You know, you wouldn't like your car wouldn't last as long, but so the, the, the climate might last longer if your car turns off every time you stop. So you think that it's actually designed to make the cars fall apart? I think it is designed to make the cars than, fall apart sooner than later. And it's designed to save the climate. So the car companies get to sell more cars and the climate gets to last longer. Oh, okay. Well, in that case... So they're saving the climate and making money. And it, all it know? costs is a really annoying sound. Every yeah, exactly. Exactly. All it costs is to like really annoy the fuck out of everyone. That's actually a pretty good deal. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, overall, bad. I mean, I know climate change can be annoying, but it's like... Whatever, you know? It's so annoying. Yeah. Um, yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? There's nothing you can do about it. So, we already recreated it. We already recreated it. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. Sorry, world. Sorry. Sorry, Earth. Sorry, about it. Sorry, guys. Sorry we partied too hard or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do, huh? Eh, nothing you can do. What are you going to do? Um, I think I'll save. Yeah, I, got, I just have a couple of small things, but I'll, I'll save them. I think I'll save them for next time. You're going to save them for later? Yeah, because they might turn into... I think they might turn into like a big deal. Yeah. I think it might turn into like a big thing. Well, let's keep them for later. Let's... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stuff them in my back pocket here. Let's back it up and we'll give it a year. Hey, yeah!